Welcome into Philadelphia Eagles now by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Senior. The Eagles on the practice field today for the first practice of training camp. And coming up, a lot of major developments that we have to hit on position battles, takeaways, news. First, make sure you subscribe to the channel. As you can see with these figures here to my right, we are closing in on 77,000 subscribers. If you're a real one, hit that sub button right now. I think that we can get to that mark with this video alone. If you're looking for Eagles content every single day, I have you covered right here on the channel. And let's get the 77,000 subscribers for Mekhi Becton. We can make him feel a little bit better. Because Jimmy Kemsky, Philly Voice, reporting from the sideline of the Novacare Complex that he heard about 10 hurls from Mekhi Becton as he threw up day one of training camp. You know that football is back in the Northeast with all of the humidity when players are throwing up on the sideline. For Mekhi Becton, though, good job by him. A couple of plays later, he was back there at left guard taking over for Landon Dickerson, who has a lacerated toe. And with that, that serves as a perfect segue to the latest Eagles injury news. Last night here on this show, brought you the latest on Cooper DeGene. He's going to be out at least three weeks with a hamstring injury. Jeremy Fowler reporting that he was caught in an awkward position, and because of that, he's on the non-football injury list. So, too, is offensive tackle Gatlib Ayedzi. Wide receiver Shaq Davis is on the NFI as well. Sidney Brown has been placed on PUP. We brought you a video on that earlier today because Eagles now is humming right now. And then Landon Dickerson did not practice. Lacerated toe. He's considered to be day to day. From that, let's talk some actual football here and evaluate the play and the comments of quarterback Jalen Hurts. A good, crisp day of practice for the Eagles franchise quarterback. The highlight of it, throwing a 35-yard touchdown pass to Dallas Goddard. Really had to display some touch there with that loft throw. He was 15 of 16 today, so very efficient, especially in the short and intermediate areas. He threw a touchdown, no picks. This notable because during the spring, he struggled a little bit, and he threw a lot of interceptions. Of course, when he met with the media, he was asked about his relationship with head coach Nick Sirianni. He spoke glowingly of the Eagles head coach. He said their current relationship is great. He trusts Sirianni to lead the team in the right direction and said that, look, last year it wasn't easy for anybody and people can talk about what they want to talk about, but Hurt said, I'm comfortable being in my own skin. A new talking point, too, is the new offensive system, which we got to see today for the first time, and Hertz talked about that as well. When you have 10 different play callers in eight years, it can be tough to get on the same page with someone, but I've enjoyed talking with Kellen Moore, how he sees the game, his trust in my judgment and instincts, and now it's about going out there and playing. And right from the jump, we see some much-needed changes in the Eagles offensive scheme we saw some pre-snap motion and last year Philadelphia 32nd in pre-snap motion rate inexcusable for today's creative offensive era and one of the first plays that the Eagles ran there was pre-snap motion a fake to Saquon Barkley Jalen Hurts ran the football looking healthy for a big gain against the Eagles defense another big talking point and Big position battle for Philadelphia throughout the summer. Wide receiver three. Who's going to get the most reps? Continues to be the same player. Starting alongside A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. That is Paris Campbell, former second-round pick by the Indianapolis Colts out of Ohio State. 4-3 speed. Didn't play much with Indianapolis. Injured a lot. Was with the Giants last year. Injured, then a healthy scratch. I don't think that this position is set in stone because Howie Roseman, who's calling the shots for this Eagles team, pretty much said as much. He said in his press conference alongside Nick Sirianni, we will be watching wide receiver three closely. Internally, I would imagine, externally for free agents, and then I imagine Howie Roseman going to be scouring that trade market. After A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith, Eagles are a little bit thin at wide out. Saquon Barkley, day one. Being used often. And I'm so excited to see what Kellen Moore is going to be able to do with one of the most talented players in the National Football League. 
And so often throughout this offseason, we heard and saw the Giants' reaction to Saquon leaving them, signing with Philadelphia. Saquon did a podcast with Diana Rossini of The Athletic. He explained why he left New York. And then today to the Philadelphia media, kind of gave us some insight as to what he's looking forward to and why he decided to close that book and open up a new chapter. Saquon on signing with the Birds. Ultimately, I came here to build a new legacy, compete, win championships, and that's helping in any way I can. I know there's going to be games where they put the trust in the 2-6 and they want me to take over, and there will be games where we let A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith do what they do. I just want to win, and that's what it's all about. I'll tell you what. We're talking Eagles football here, training camp takeaways. I'm juiced up. If you're juiced up, I'm not talking about the roids. Give me a go, birds, down in the comment section because Eagles football is back. Our sponsor for today's Eagles now, by the way, is game time. If you're looking to go to a birds game this year, Philadelphia Phillies game, or check out the freshly built roster that the Philadelphia 76ers put together, download the game time app. It is the official ticketing marketplace of the NBA, Major League Baseball, as well as the National Football League. You can save up to 60% off by buying last-minute tickets to sporting events, but also concerts, comedy shows, theater events, and a lot more. With their flash deals, you can save even more with exclusive in-app deals on select seats ahead of the game or event. I like the all-in pricing tool where you can toggle the feature to show the total up front so then there are no surprise fees at checkout like all of the other ticketing apps hit you with. What's also neat is that you can see the view from your seat before you buy, so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. Check out the view. LA Good Financial Field. You want to go to the Vikings-Eagles preseason game, section 231, row 25, ticks, only 23 bucks. Philadelphia Phillies, hottest ticket in town right now, Citizens Bank Park. If you haven't been, you have to go. Now, at the end of the day, what I also like is saving you money while you put together some great memories with your loved ones, friends, family members. And if you use the code chat sports, you get $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply, of course. We'll put this information down below in the comment section and attach to the pinned comment of today's Philadelphia Eagles. Now, we talked offense. Let's talk defense here. Eagles first string cornerbacks, Darius Slay, Isaiah Rogers on the outside with Devontae Maddox in the slot. Isaiah Rogers, tremendous in the spring. Darius Slay, the top corner on this team. And for my guy, Dennis Designs, he's not going to like seeing Avante Maddox in the slot. But without Cooper DeGene, he's probably the best option there. The Eagles second string corners, Keely Ringo on the outside, Eli Ricks on the other side with first-round pick, 22nd overall selection, Quinian Mitchell in the slot. I like that he's getting reps in the slot and outside. Versatility, always nice. The Eagles' third-string corners, Josh Job, Zach McPherson on the outside with Tyler Hall on the inside. And Darius Slay, by the way, he got that knee surgery last year, and when he came back, he revealed that that knee had been bothersome for the last couple of years. He said he's the healthiest that he's been in a while. As for his former running mate, who right now is no longer, James Bradbury, not getting reps at corner. Instead, getting reps at second string safety. We are far removed from the days when James Bradbury was the second team all pro during that 2022 campaign. A major development to follow, to talk about, to monitor here, to see if he makes this team. And if he does, is he going to provide depth at the safety position? Starting off ball linebackers, same as the spring for the most part. Devin White, who I think is going to have a career year, and then Zach Bond. This might surprise some people, but Vic Fangio, very complimentary of Zach Bond. What I'm curious about, with the New Orleans Saints, he was primarily an edge rusher. Like He didn't really have any coverage snaps, and now the Eagles are playing him at off-ball linebacker. N'Kobe Dean mixed in a little bit. The Eagles' practice today ran about 70 minutes. Last year, they were light practices and short practices, about 60 minutes, give or take some change, right? Nick Sirianni, Vic Fangio, they got together, and they said, 
we got to change these practices. They have to be a little bit more physical. And Vic Fangio said, we have to take advantage of our practice time and practice a little bit longer. Love that old school mentality. And that's what the Eagles are going to do. So I think they're going to be a more disciplined team, hopefully a better coach football team, and hopefully a lot more physical. This news also confirmed today, and we knew this was coming, right? Brandon Graham confirming that this will be his 15th and final season. The 2024 campaign will be the last for BG, a legendary Eagle who has arguably the most iconic play in the history of the Eagles with the strip sack of Tom Brady. And during that boating parade in Ocean City, I always forget what the name of it is, but Brandon Graham was like leading that over the weekend and he had a photo of him strip sacking Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. I love it. And then there was an Eagles fan, at least one of them, who jumped into the bay just to say what's up and say go birds. It's so Philadelphia that it hurts. Make sure you give me a follow on X and Instagram at Chase underscore Senior, the same handle on both platforms. Really appreciate everybody for watching the show. I will be in Mexico from Thursday to Monday. Then I'm going to Maine from Tuesday to Tuesday as a final reset before the NFL season. But come on, you can't be a content daddy without pushing out content. So shows are still going to come your way right here on Eagles Now.